So, why would I know the passcode? Hi, my name is Evan Sellers, and I'm CEO and founder of Polar Computers. Today is one of our first vlog videos, and we'll be taking you through the basically average life of what it is to, well, try to found a company upon the infinity. If you don't already know what the infinity is, you're going to learn a lot from our vlog today. But uh, just a quick catch up, basically, it's a holographic computer. We're trying to mainstream the market because we don't believe, well, there really isn't a mainstream device for a holographic computer. And we'll be taking you through basically what we do all day. Going to Fry's, getting some components. We actually found, what did we find out, Matt? What did we find out? That I'm bad at parking? That, that. Matt parked like <laughs> over top of line. Literally parked over top of the line. Foot over the line? Foot over the line. It's close enough. Plenty of space. We found out DisplayPort and Mini DisplayPort are two separate things. Oh, yeah, yeah, yeah. Yeah. Absolutely. We need to get some, we need to get some adapters and stuff to make those work. Yeah, so we need an HDMI to DisplayPort to plug into the system. Where we think it should be, but we can't quite find exactly where. Yeah, there's this whole bunch of HDMI stuff and we, we literally can't find it. Like HDMI to HDMI. Not that common, but they have it. found some brand new... <laughs> Edition PC and Mac compatible HDMI ports. Just in case your Mac and PC need to work together somehow. Make sure. Gotta get the hot, <laughs> the really high quality wires. Finally found it. Found it. First one was 14 bucks. Now I found one that's 10. So we're and good. it's even longer too. The 14 dollar one was like super short. Ugh. Yeah. Okay, All so right. we found one even cheaper. It's five, What was it? Five dollars. Yes, it was like yeah. 5 or something. So we saved another like four or five bucks, which is pretty sweet. But the thing is, is this one isn't a cable, it's an actual converter, which might make it better, don't you think? Yeah, because yeah. also the other one was male to male, which means we would need an adapter for female. And this one you're we don't. You're right, you're right, yeah, yeah. I don't know if you guys saw that, but this is guy standing out. In the road. Middle. In the road, in the middle of the road. With a, what is it, a weed, weed whacker? whacker? Weed whacker. Cutting trees. Doing, cutting trees. <laughs> like, what? Weed um, whacker is supposed to be on the ground and up in the air. <laughs> the trees. Literally having problems finding a power cable right now for the computer that's going to run the mainframe. Looking in all the boxes. Found one in the little box. Now we have basically everything set up. We haven't got it to boot quite yet, but we've got at least all the adapters we need all set up and everything should be good. Still not quite booted. We finally found all the power cables we need as well. We need, and we actually we need to find another one. It. Yeah, we could actually simplify it one more because we were able to find an HDMI directly to, is this? DVI. It, this is DVI? Okay. Yeah, DVI. Directly to DVI, so we didn't need a DVI. No, we didn't need a VGA to DVI anymore. Yeah. We think something's right with the hard drive. We're not getting a boot signal from the computer. Yep, that'll, that'll do it. That'll do it. Now, just because this hard drive is unplugged does not mean there's a boot, the boot operating system. If there's not a boot operating system on it, uh, we tried a boot USB and that didn't seem to work, so we might have to, we might have to install an operating system, but, you know, it doesn't take that long to install. Oof. That's going to be kind of just, just leave it open. Leave it open. We'll leave it open for now, yeah. We'll power this thing puppy back on. And then if this works... We're not going to leave this SATA bent on a 90 degree angle. We have some SATA uh, cables that are 90 degree angles meant for that because you don't want to put the stress on a cable like that. Oh, you're filming right now. <laughs> so, That's going in. <laughs> see, I'm stupid. I, I didn't actually read it. It just said boot cannot successfully. So I assumed it was the operating system and obviously the hard drive wasn't plugged in. But also it said that there was a graphics card plugged in and we are running the graphics off Intel Bridge, the motherboard. So we unplugged the graphics card and put it over here on this motherboard. Hopefully it will work this time. We'll power it on. We'll see if that that works. Big moment. No. Nope. nope. Okay. Okay. Hey, booting to Polar OS right now. Finally got it. Do you know what was the problem with the computer, Rich? No. Me either. I have no idea. We, and we it's saw, working though. That's the good thing. It's working. Okay. It's working. We and did stuff. And got it to work. We got <laughs> log in here. This must be a demo unit because it says, Boss Ross. Oh. What? Oh, this is Bob Ross. <laughs> what? <laughs> that must be a demo unit. First issue. We don't know the password. <laughs> oh? Okay. okay, it's a demo no, unit. No, it's, it's, it's not. a demo unit, so why would I know the passcode? Well, we kind of need to know it. All right, we've given up hope on that. We can't and find the passcode. <laughs> yep, so now we are giving up on Polar OS, and we're just going to boot to. What are you, what Ubuntu. Ubuntu? Ubuntu. 
There we go. Look at that. Oh, oh, this is better. This is gnome. Gnome is way better than Ubuntu. Yay. Okay, so more on Evan over here. Just touch the uh, power supply while it's still plugged in. The power supply for the monitor. Now, there's a little sign, and it says, Do not touch while mainframe is live, if blue mainframe is active. So, you know, I don't actually follow my own warnings, but my assumption was that when I touch the power button and turn the power button off, that even though it's still plugged in, there wouldn't be power flooding to the uh, main board, but uh, obviously there is, and it kind of hurts. It was quite wrong. <laughs> <laughs> it was quite wrong, and very learned it very quickly. He dropped the whole thing <laughs> after getting shocked. Okay, so now we've got the main monitor kind of set up, and we had a brighter, we need the screen to be bright, so we have this on there, it'd be a little extra, and we set the main light up with this, so we need to cover it because it's insanely bright. And now we should be able to put the hologram actual screen right there like that. Theoretically, I should be calibrating this monitor for the display because actually the software is designed for a specific size display and we're not running that right now. But instead, uh, what are we, do, what are we doing over here, Matt? Custom shirts. Why? Custom company why shirts. Not? Why not? And then I'm working on getting Wi-Fi running faster. Normally, I would be working on that. But... He decided to take the one computer in the whole room that's plugged in to the router and has live wired internet. So I'm working on getting the Wi-Fi set up so he can go back to that. Yeah. Or Wi-Fi faster. So we can go back to his Mac over there and I can get the Cal the mainframe computer back. <laughs> Matt has to sit in the doorway because the <laughs> Wi-Fi sucks so much now. <laughs> hey, Matt. You know, I think the Wi-Fi is a little better, but I haven't quite determined it yet. <laughs> This is hilarious. We were calibrating the display right here, and uh, then this is this is changing the inputs over here. We're using that to like calibrate it and put it in the center right now, because right now it's set up for a smaller display. So we're working on right now. Woo! 510 pixels. So that'll conclude the video, guys.